Okay. This video contains coarse language. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sell that. It's a 73 CJ. Yeah, I never cool. drive it though. No? But it goes way too fast. Does it? Yeah. Over here I got some just up over the years. Look at that drill press. Yeah, that's cool. Got the, this 1909 or 1919 Hurt Car little 1224. Kind of a rare tractor. You know, most yeah. of them were the uh, 2448. Uh, size the little tiny ones are quite rare. Okay. 1947 Model M and a 1947 MC. So same hood, right? Same everything, same tranny. But just tracks instead. Yeah, and then they took it and knocked the front front end off, and they uh, put the planetaries in the back side and made it into a little crawler. So M, the wedge. So M, so Model M, and then the C stands for crawler. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's 46, 47. So this is 39. That's another mm -hmm. little Oliver plate track. Far superior dozer to that, that's 10 years newer. This had a little four cylinder gas in it and a, and a bit of a suspension in it. It's way better. Yeah. All these run? All of them run, yeah. yeah. Do, do you use them or they're just display pieces? Oh, you clearly have driven this one around. Oh, yeah, I've used this one. I've used this one a fair bit, pushing dirt with. Yeah. Yeah, this is a 51 OC4, it's called, so four cylinder, little gas. Okay. Kind of a rare one in the fact that it was a row crop tractor because it's got the wide axles on it, uh -huh. but still had a blade. Uh -huh. Most of these were designed just to pull. Sure. Very few of them would have ever had a blade on it. This is probably my rarest tractor though, this one. This is a 39 Model B. Well, that's kind of cool. This is the uh, factory order track kit in 39, which is what makes it rare. Okay. There's only seven of them made that year. And this one, particular one, was ordered by a farmer in Quebec that uh, ordered it to pull the moose out of the bush. Oh, really? Oh, yeah? In the snow. Yeah, was crazy. So he ordered it with the track kit. I found it in BC about 20 years ago. Huh. Yeah. So the cool piece, but that's probably the rarest one. A million Model Bs around, but not very many of them have the factory oh, order track And how you tell it's, it's factory order track kit is because usually they have the wheel brakes, individual wheel brakes down here. That's on this one up here. Oh, okay. so that's how you steered it when you're in the snow. You just let go of your steering wheel. Oh, okay. You just steered it here. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only difference. And then I got quite a few of these little pump motors. I think these things. These little things. That was just for running equipment, right? Running pumps, running yeah. old generators. This, and they were the true pop, 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 pop. Our friend Peter's got a whole bunch of those too. Um, a bunch of tractors also. Yeah. He's I got should a, sell these things then. I've got these two, and I've got this, that's my oldest one in 1909. Okay. Look at the real cool piece that one. Cool. So not many of them still left that are 110 years old that are still right. running, right? They've yeah. thrown out in the wood pile or whatever. Hmm. Then I've got a few over here, massive person ones. All different sizes there. Seven of them. So, yeah, they're kind of cool. The old plain, the old Texaco. Yeah. Same. You get out there and cut her a little bit. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. A bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of stuff here. So, Josh, anything you want to buy, you just let me know. <laughs> okay, it's all for sale. It's all for sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, that's cool. Good stuff. Yeah, what kind of a lifetime of collecting, right? We were just out at uh, Alaskan Equipment. Mm. That's a. Uh, is Larry is Larry still alive? I don't know. Larry's I don't know the tall, ninety-year-old walking around there. I, there's a couple dudes at the front there that are pretty old. <laughs> like he's tall and thin and yeah, gray hair, furry thin face. I feel like he maybe is. Still oh, yeah. oh yeah, the he's, cheek pincher guy. Yeah. The what guy? The cheek pincher guy? Yeah. <laughs> he's an amazing guy. Is he? Yeah. He's the largest lot buyer for Richie Brothers. Really? Mm -hmm. He's oh, bought okay. more lots at Richie Brothers sales I feel than like anybody. the stuff he has there, he's going to have stuff sitting there for the next 500 years. And we'll he's never got get... a lot of stuff. And then you'll be the guy who cleans up the land Maybe. and rehabs it back to... 
<laughs> he's had that property for 40 years. He's got years a lot he, of stuff there. Oh, it's a bit of a maker heaven for guys like us. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We were in there looking for some legs for a table and found some. Yeah. We're going to be building pipe, a table here soon. thing that guys roll pipe on to weld it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Exactly. Well, yeah, you, Josh, for what you're doing. Yeah. They're, they're, I only know two or three or four places that would rival that place for the amount of for stuff. stuff and just unordinary stuff. But yeah, there's yeah. a lot of interesting stuff there if you get looking. And you know, old Larry there. He, last time I was there, I mean, he got this. Oh yeah, he's, let's go for a drive and down in. He actually knows where stuff, stuff is. I knew where it was. Wow, nothing amazing. That's crazy. Well, too bad we didn't ask him because we were all over the place looking for it, but yeah. for something. But we didn't really know what we were looking for. Yeah, well, exactly. Just he when you see it, you know. He's got one of the better guys coming, though. He's got one of the better, one of the better boners. Yeah. I feel like the price goes up when he knows you're making cool stuff out of it. Uh, oh, it totally does. <laughs> oh, it just goes up if he knows you, if he knows you want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> I mean, half of it, I'm kind of like, really, you want that for it? Like, this is going to sit here for years. Nobody wants this, right? Yeah. Well, he's the sort of guy you really got to grind with. Yeah. yeah. He And he likes that game, right? Does he? Oh, okay. yeah, he likes that game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you said 53, and there used to be a porch off that one side of it. It was pretty rotten, so I pulled it off. But inside, there's two rooms on the lower floor, and they were both plastered probably in the 40s, I'm thinking. And one was baby blue, and one was baby, the kitchen was Pink. And okay. Baby blue in the living room, and they all would have slept upstairs in the loft. It was okay. built in 09. In 09, and then um, uh, so I pulled all the plaster off. Some of the plaster had fallen off, and it was an inch thick. It was that horse hair. Yeah, thing, yeah. Right, and just fucking million nails. Yeah. And uh, so we, I pulled all the plaster off. I got all the nails off. I pressure washed it extensively, and now I'm ready to start chinking on it this summer. Cool. Yeah. And I want to put the porch back on and chink it. And, Put some windows and really trying to take it back period correct that's awesome is what i want to do with it. So okay have a little cabin somebody can sleep over if they're out here on an evening or whatever and sure yeah have the real experience of an old cabin yeah where is the well all of this would have been mined at one point right and then strip mined and then cleaned up i mean there's a smaller one you can see way over there um, so that scaffolding looking that white thing thing I can't really see it from here we'd see it better on the highway you can kind of see it most of them are all gone they decommissioned them and sent them over to Australia oh yeah yeah and so what did you do we used to service them uh, the booms so the cables and the booms and everything, so we would go right up on the on the boom of it and uh, walk down, tie tie off, and then walk down the lines and inspect the lines and the blocks, and, and then fix whatever needs to be fixed when it needed to be. But they were huge. Like that one's just a. I think that's a smaller one. That one, you can't walk on that one. Uh, not those ones, but... I don't know if this one... So you can see the tip of the white the way, way, way over there. I think that might be one of the bigger ones, but... No, they were like... Up at the tip was about 280 feet high. Right. And there was like... Infrastructure for you to walk on, right? Oh, yeah. Built so onto the machine. Set of stairs and catwalks yeah. and... For the most part. Now, not when we went. As soon as you left the boom out onto the cables, your pier just walked Yeah, on the, the cable, yeah. A four-inch cable. Ropes, they call them. Okay. A bunch of big braided metal ropes, essentially, that would lift the bucket and lift the boom. But this is where they haul all the coal that they dig from the coal mines. Right. Bring it here. essentially burn it off, turn it into steam, which is then creating power from that. Right. So the several, three or four of these that we have still running around here are what we get all our power from, but now they're all switching to natural gas. Right. And not uh, excavating the coal anymore, which is kind of sad because it's about, they 
say about 300 years still worth of coal in the ground here. Oh yeah. That we could be running off of. They're trying to burn cleaner or something? Is yeah, that the goal? Yes, cleaner, but it's funny because, I mean, I mean that's a pretty controversial thing, right? Yeah. Most of the world, a lot of them are turning to coal or already on coal. It's a pretty clean source of power. Is it? I understand. Okay. I have I mean, no idea. It looks dirty. Well, the smoke is but look white. What's coming out. It's it's pretty. By the time they run it through everything, it's pretty clean. I think, right? Yeah. Did you know I uh, delivered pizza to this place a couple times? Oh, did you? That yeah. The plan? Yeah. So it's from Spruce drive. Grove, that's like a forty-five minute drive. Yeah. And uh, no tip either time. No. No. That's funny. <laughs> no, and it was like a two hundred and fifty dollar order. Just like, you know, like 30 pizzas or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, no tip. One of the other plants we did work inside for a while, way up top uh, in one of the rooms, and uh, it was so hot in there. So oh, yeah. Crazy. Those trees are all black, yeah. but they're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. They built all these buildings, and uh, now they're pretty much decommissioned. Yeah, well, this one's up again, because this one was closed, right? It was, yeah, so I don't know what they've got going at this point. They're taking quite a while to switch over to natural gas, from what I understand. Yeah. And for us as the consumer, all that means is uh, way higher bills. Yeah. Now for power. All right, so that's the power plant. That sign's at it, and then the mine is yeah, it's kind of down, down here somewhere. Area. When we came in, most of the time we would meet here and then drive over to the drag lines. Okay, and the drag lines are. said most of them are gone now they're all decommissioned yeah. so my friend that I worked with that we used to go out and inspect them his company built most of the drag lines around here in the 70s they like, put them together he was just an iron worker and okay. worked with a crew of guys that assembled them and got them up and running and then when they were all done there wasn't really a a trade really somebody that maintained drag lines or or anybody crazy enough that wanted to go 280 feet in the air strapped to a line to inspect them right that could be a little for some people nerve-wracking right? right yeah, yeah for sure. but you've done it so yeah, i didn't like it at first for sure no no i was pretty scared i think uh, got somewhat used to it was really sucked on uh, windy days or oh yeah snow days like we've been up like in the middle of the night on snowy nights and uh, some guys that were x-raying the metal uh, cables yeah they would they went up we set up all this platform and everything up on the cables and they would get lifted up from a crane to get into there and do x-ray and also this crazy storm came in it was snowing and raining and it was dark and it was too windy for the crane so it was basically unsafe for anybody to be up there. So they called us in to come and retrieve all the equipment that these guys abandoned up there. So it was unsafe for everybody else, but we had to go up. <laughs> and the crane wouldn't even lift our platforms down. We had to slide them down the cables over all these blocks and then walk them by, by foot down this stairwell with these big platforms that we had built, right? It was, it was a sucky night, man. But freezing cold, it's so windy, your helmet blows off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dang. This is where I hooked my first sturgeon. Oh, yeah, down the river? Yeah, I didn't reel him in, though. He, he got away. He was a heavy sucker. Just down down this road the farmer doesn't allow you to go across his land too many people uh, littered right. but anyways you go down there and then 
you walk through the forest and to the river along the bank here which is pretty open the whole way so it's a shame that people ruined it uh, for uh, everyone else now if you want to fish this part of the river you got to go down this launch right here yeah. and it's it's way busier because people are launching boats right down here right so it's a bummer but there's an elbow right over there that is nice and the sturgeon seem to sit in there a lot but now you can go down here to that elbow it's not as good though because of boats anyway oh yeah also this brewery or no it's not a brewery what's it distillery gin and whiskey okay so they still gin and whiskey such a cool i don't know i love how it's all black yeah. it's got a glass wall on the front and back of the one so have you been there i have yeah 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 and i'm not a gin fan but their gin is fantastic yeah what about whiskey? Like whiskey? I haven't tried their whiskey yet. Okay. They've got it in barrels. Apparently they've won a bunch of awards on it before they even barreled it, basically. Oh. But, uh, they sell some of it. They can't call it whiskey yet because it hasn't aged a minimum of three years yet. Oh, so they, okay. They have bottled some of it and selling it as non-whiskey, although it still has alcohol in it. Right, It's just right. called non-whiskey. Non-whiskey, okay. Um, I didn't realize that it had to be stored yeah, it for be three years. years minimum to be a, a whiskey, right? In Canada, anyways. Okay. Okay. Um, and I think apparently it leans quite a bit towards being like a like a Scotch, but obviously they can't call it a Scotch here because it's not from Scotland. Right. So, but it has that somewhat. I don't know if they're actually putting peat in it to make it give it that peaty taste like a Scotch, but. Okay. It'll be interesting to try it. Can you just walk in there as a civilian, or yeah, you can go in there and have cocktails? They have a little uh, lounge, little. It's not very nice inside. It's it's kind of. Um... Is it industrial looking? Yeah, very industrial looking. Yeah. I see. Well, it looks cool on the outside. It looks I like a. I would say it's not nice, but it's it's just very industrial. Yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of sterile looking. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit like a cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. Well, the outside is very sharp. It is, and the smaller building is full of all their distilling uh, tanks, and they're all, if I remember, I think they're all copper. Oh, yeah. Inside. So it's like the whole front of it's glass, and then they go up these stairs, and they got these big copper tanks and all these tubes all over. We should go there one time. We should, yes. Yeah, I mean, cool. I don't drink, so you'll have to drink for two, I guess, but... Uh, it's cool looking, though. Yeah. yeah. And I guess in the summertime, they're starting to have a little bit of live music, you know? He's kind of got some kind of little ponds and stuff outside that he's oh, okay. starting to fix up. And he wants to turn it into something, I don't know, for weddings or... Ah, that makes so they, sense. They have a vision, a larger vision for the whole place. Okay. Um, at some point. But I see. Picking away at it. He's not a very old guy that owns it. No? Uh, I would say he's... Uh, I don't even know if he's in 40. Oh, wow. Maybe 30s maybe? Huh. Look forward to that uh, visit if they allow filming. I don't know. They they might they Anoka, might say no. Anoka Distillery. Anoka Distillery. They probably have something online that you can even see. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to making this bench out of this cedar log. Uh, 